All right, guys, here we go. Let's get this watercoloring. We're going to use some markers. First, you draw a flower, however you want, and then you take one of your water-based markers and you trace over all of your lines. So don't panic about like, you know, oh my gosh, I, I didn't quite get that line. No big deal. If you miss it, nobody's going to know. You can always erase it because you did it in pencil first. If you decide not to do it in pencil first and just do marker, well, good luck. And I hope that you don't make mistakes. <laughs> I always do, so that's why I always do it in pencil first. And then I take my um, paintbrush with a little bit of water on it. Not too, too much, but I am going to get it wet. Um, and then I go over top of all of my marker lines. And when I do that, the marker line turns into kind of like a paint, like a watercolor paint. And the reason why is because uh, it's a water-based marker. So I can't use Sharpies for this one. I love Sharpies, but can't use them on this one. You can only use a water-based marker. So those would be like Crayola or maybe Rose Art. Um, and it kind of makes a, a nice, uh, a really nice paint and again I'm not using too much water it's important that you don't use too too much because you don't want it to be dripping all over the place and getting all outside of the lines so with this I decided to use markers I was going to do watercolor paints uh, and if you have them and you want to do them that's great you can do them absolutely but I find that the watercolor paints that I had at home, unless I mixed colors, I couldn't really get nice, nice, awesome colors. So I decided, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this in marker because I like the way that the marker looks. I like that it looks exactly like watercolors. I have a little bit more control over it because I can hold it in my hands. And the other thing I like about this is that those markers they have such awesome colors I couldn't quite get the colors I wanted from my box of Prang watercolors so I decided to you know what let's just do marker and painting is so nice it's so fun it's relaxing you can do it pretty much anywhere All right, and there's some places on there that's kind of muddled. It didn't, like, uh, you can't really see the um, sides of the petals anymore of the flower. So I'll go back in and fix that later on. But first I'm going to I'm gonna do the center of the flower. Maybe, like, uh, add a leaf or something to it. And it's not really wet. It's just kind of uh, damp. So I'm going to add in that center. I'm going to use a light yellow color, make a ring of that, and then I'm going to put water on top of it, spread it around. But as you know, paint wants to go wherever there's water, so any place that it's going to like try to get to inside of those leaves or those petals, you want to get a clean piece of paper towel, place it right on top, and then press down to make it stop bleeding into those other areas. Now I can take my marker that I first used and I can retrace some of those pencil lines that I still see underneath to kind of separate all of those petals again. Make it look like a flower and whatnot. That looks nicer. And then I take my brush again, but this time I don't use nearly as much water and when I go over top of it, I'm just barely even touching the paper with my uh, paintbrush. So I take off all the water, barely even touch. Just go right over top of those little lines.
Now I'm going to add on my leaf that I forgot to draw on earlier. So I'm just going to draw it in there. Kind of a pointy leaf. Put some veins in there. And then I will trace over top of that with the color that I want to use for the leaf. And this time I think I'm using like a lemony yellow color because it looks nice. And the same process gets used again. Water on a brush. Go right over top of your lines. Fill in the spaces. And if it starts bleeding because it's one color going next to another, paint wants to go wherever there's water, just want to put a little stop to that by taking your paint, your paper towel and wiping up that area. Pink and green, if they mix together, they make an ugly dookie brown color. You certainly don't want to deal with that. Nobody likes that, for sure. Same thing I did last time with the uh, petals. You can do with the leaf too. You can add in, you know, the lines later on if it gets too muddled. No worries. Again, paintbrush, hardly any water on it, barely touching. Just kind of blending it in. All right, looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to stop there. Not quite sure how I'm going to frame this later on once I cut it apart and make it into a smaller thing. Maybe I'll make a, a special frame for it too.